these are all of our attachments we got this jib we hand built this jib just added a piece of tubing welded a piece of flat steel on the end of it with a hook we was just setting some log a log entry up and needed something to hold it up a little higher this worked good we took an old set of forks that we had that got bent loader bucket dropped on it dinged it so we turned it into that we welded this chain on there made it so it hooked through the through, around the mast back onto it so that this wouldn't slide off so there's two pieces of tubing welded to the forks it's pretty handy not very tough but we can take a chain and wrap it around the top and run it down and hook it to that chain and it'll lift a lot more without bending it and then these are just fork extensions just another set of forks these forks are about 15 years old kind of been beat up over the years it's a quick attach blower these are really nice this one's an eight footer we've blown a lot of snow with it it's been a really nice blower this is an Ederay backhoe E60 we bought this because he's digging a water line a, we paid about seems like 1800 bucks we've replaced this ram once and we had to we had to do a little duct taping so that that hose it has a protection deal on here but but it's not quite enough i just didn't want it to flog it so i taped it a little bit more and same with right here a little bit sharp on the edges of the metal so we taped that up so i wouldn't do it but that skid steer that we have the tv 450 is way too big for this thing you have to be really careful with it it'll just break it and then this is a quick attach plow this this is a little mounting plate that they sent to us but the first one they send out it had no adjustment so i had to tilt it down I had to tilt it down too far in order to get it to touch the ground because when the skid steer was level it was still 16 or six inches off the ground so i had to tilt it down and that made this angle off so it tried to just cut in and when that would happen it just ruined it it just bent it skid steer will push way too hard for it so once they sent this mast to us this deal had adjusted the depth so we could lower it down a few more inches and now it works like a charm it hasn't been bent and it's holding up only the blade the blade's the only thing we replaced so all the rest of this stuff is the same and it hasn't had any problems since it was cracking the welds and everything on it so that mast made all the difference in the world so there's our attachment lineup We did buy these wheels with that blade. We don't use them very often. About the only thing they're nice for is the road itself. We're doing touching up the road when it gets potholes and stuff. That's when that comes in handy. <laughs> 